I love when Randy are playing Farming Simulator 22 on Frank and Muth. Michigan just riding along with the hired worker here, planting oil seed radish on our former soybean field here. Uh, we're giving oil seed radish here a try again, as I mentioned last episode, everyone. Uh, again, Precision Farming had an update here uh, from the same time as Patch 1.5. So, yeah, we're, we're going to see what's if they change anything or not. Supposedly, they actually fixed them. And so, oil seed radish actually does something. We'll, we'll find out. But anyway, got a hired worker working on that. Oh, and that reminds me. I forgot to get the hired worker going on this here as well. Uh, we're working on mulching up our corn field here as well. Of course, we've seen last episode when we finished up the corn harvest here uh, last episode. The, so, that is finally finished. We're all set there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, see, I got the Massey Ferguson working on that. Uh, this field also needs to be plowed, everyone. Uh, so kind of sticking with what we typically do in real life in Michigan, everyone, uh, you try to do fall tillage. Uh, you always try to do it in fall, and that way over winter, everyone, uh, the snow has time to kind of like level things off, soak in. <clears throat> Excuse me here today, my goodness. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to try to get some uh, fall tillage done here today. Also, I want to look at maybe picking up some more uh, fields. I think I mentioned this last episode as well. Uh, maybe look at doing even more potatoes than we're already doing. Yes, I know, everyone. Uh, more potatoes, right? But I've got some more mods, so I know. Be scared. Be very scared. I actually haven't even checked. I mean, I should probably really go. Let's see, buildings. Oh, wait, yeah. We're in the right spot. Factories. Let's see what's here. Where is the new one at? Haven't even looked at it yet. Is that the one? That kind of looks like it. Chips Factory. Yes, so we got the actual, like, whoa. That is, uh, I think that's a little bit bigger than our, uh, yeah, that's a little bigger than our current ones. But I'm thinking that's going to be our new uh, chip factory. I mean, I'm not sure what those things up there are about. I don't know what's up with that. I think there's some extra pieces hanging out on this mod. Um, okay, anyway. Um, well, hopefully it works and we'll see once here. But as you can see from the list, oh my goodness, it takes... That takes some more stuff. We might have to uh, be getting into some more... That takes cheese and... Oh boy. Well, we'll see once here. We'll see once here. Uh, option. We we'll, might just end up. By. Actually, does it take potatoes? Oh, it does. Okay. I was going to say. Yep. It does take potatoes. So that's the plan, by the way. Uh, hopefully, here uh, next. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll wait till next fall, next harvest, because we really don't need it till then. I don't have potatoes. I think I've got everything in the. Yeah, I've got everything we currently have in the factory. And I don't think you can get them out that I know of, right? There's no way to get potatoes out. I don't think there is anyway. And, you know, and I guess I mean, we could put it down so just we know what we need to start producing here as well. So we might have to do that here at some point. I probably won't bother doing that this episode. We'll save that. Anyway, let's start with some fall tillage. And I forget, what do I actually have for a plow? Okay, I've got the John Deere uh, 26, no, 2730. This is a 2730. I've got that one. Do we have anything else as far as like chisel plows go? Let's go check the shop here. I'm gonna, let's see if we get like a nice chisel plow. I don't know if we actually really have anything per se. Uh, we do have the subsoilers. We could go get like the uh, culty plow. This is more like a ripper though, I think. Evan, this really isn't a chisel plow. Um, at least uh, for what probably in real life, I want that be more like a deep ripper. I'm, at least I'm guessing that's what it's comparable to. Evan. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's see. Plows. We got the John Deere disc chisel. I mean, yes, Evan, it's, I don't know. I've used it quite a bit. So I wouldn't mind trying something else. Uh, ooh, we got the land all here. Ooh, and it actually loads too, and it actually works. Amazing. That actually looks like a, probably about as proper of a chisel plow as I'm going to get here, I'm going to think. That looks like a good chisel plow to me. Uh, six miles an hour. Yeah, that's that's probably pretty good. What, six? No, nope, only 500 horsepower, huh? And 9.5 meter width. That's a decent width. Yeah, let's go with that. I, mean, I like the looks of that. Uh, we're not looking anything serious. Let's see what's here. Land all missing agent attachment. Yeah, that doesn't look too serious, everyone. Looks like the 27... No, that's the 1600 has the same problem. Oh, chip factory. Unable to load fill type fish. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder... Yeah, depending on what map you're on, everyone, if you have something that uh, does fish. Or maybe you have to have a mod that does fish. I wonder how that works. Fish at a chip factory? Okay, I'm not even asking. No, I don't want to know. Okay, this mod didn't look like it's too bad. Let's try purchasing this. Not any curiosity here. Was there anything else? Oh, just that one. Yeah, no. Don't think so. That's a ripper. We could do some uh, ripping here at some point. I'm just for something uh, different. Uh, for those of you uh, maybe not uh, familiar with agriculture, I mean, the uh, difference between, say, a tool like this, I know they're all under the plow category, 
This other one is a ripper. It's designed to go deep, and you notice it typically doesn't have very many shanks on it. Uh, usually most of your rippers, maybe, you know, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine shanks at most. And this one, yeah, let's, let's see what that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, 200. I don't think that's going to be 220 horsepower on that one. That's going to be more like probably 600 horsepower. Uh, I don't know. Do we have any other good examples of rippers? And eh, not really in this category. Like I said, I think these would probably be considered rippers here, at least where I live as well. One, you know, again, 435 horsepower like that. Uh, they're designed to go deep and break up the hard pan, everyone. The idea behind the hard pan is you get below your normal working depth, everyone, and below that you have what's known as the hard pan. And again, probably depends where you're at or where you live, if you actually get that or not. But the hard pan it was basically a layer of soil where moisture and roots don't penetrate really well. At least that's the theory anyway. Uh, so you take a deep ripper, everyone, and you run through it with a, a tool that goes deeper than what you normally would use and just rip that hard pan open. Now you're not really uh, moving a whole lot of soil necessarily when you do that one. Basically all you're trying to do is like pick the soil up a little bit, set it back down, and when it sets back down, it just kind of crumbles. A bit. It just breaks apart, opens up. That's the idea behind ripping everyone. Now chisel plowing on the other hand is a lot more, a lot more soil moving. A lot more going on, I guess, so to speak. I'm not really sure how to explain to the other than this. Just uh, you're moving a lot of dirt. You're turning over a lot of dirt. It's ripping up a lot of dirt. Yeah, your field's going to be turning black, or hopefully black anyway. If you got moisture, <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, it should be turning black when you're chisel plowing. Mean, uh, versus when you're ripping, you might not, depending on the style of ripping, you might not even be able to tell if the field's anything done to it. The only thing you might be able to see is where the shanks were, and uh, I don't know what shanks are, what, something like what, 12 inches apart, something like that. Maybe more, again, all depends on the ripper, having a lot of different styles of them. Got 12 inches, 24 inches apart, somewhere in there. Okay, let's get some uh, GPS going here. Not quite, oh wait, we can actually level, oh, 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 oh. There we go, that looks much better. That actually is a feature. Can you believe it, everyone? I'm liking this mod already. Okay, 90 degrees. Yep. And let's get an auto width on that. Lock it on, and here we go. We're chisel plowing. And that actually leaves behind... Yep, chisel plow texture too, yet. Or plowed texture, I guess I should say. Oh, and this is going to be a little slow, isn't it? Six mile an hour. It's probably pretty realistic to be honest that's why i didn't uh, change it in the uh, settings everyone uh for those of you know I, I typically like to try to play as reasonably as realistic as possible or as i've always said in the past everyone as realistic as possible given the limitations of the game and of course gotta make sure you're still having fun yet right I like the looks of that one. It's good to me. Some nice AGI bins in the background there. Now, uh, maybe my ears are missing it here, everyone. Seems like we could use some better sounds on this pod. If I had one complaint, and it's going to be the sounds, I think. There doesn't seem to be much in the way of sounds here for this mod. Normally, when you'd hear the sound of the coulters in the front here hitting occasional stones, and then just the, uh, I'm not sure how to explain the chisel plowing sound. Maybe someone in the comments can help out. How do you explain the sound of a chisel plow one? I don't know. Just the sound of uh, shanks ripping through the dirt. Yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. I don't know. Uh, by the way, for those you wondering, when it comes to the front of this chisel plow here, everyone, uh, these are not discs on the front of the chisel plow. I know some people maybe like to call them discs. They are not. Uh, I think the technical name for them, as far as I know, is still coulters. They are coulters. Uh, they are not designed to really like, turn the soil over in any way, shape, or form. They're designed to yeah, just simply cut lines through it. Uh, basically, just cut it up so when it gets to the chisels, I mean, the chisels have an easier time of ripping the ground open. Uh, they don't have to cut through all the material and... Again, the, the shanks, they're not designed for that, right, everyone? 
the, the coulters are for that purpose. They're designed to cut through whatever material might be on top. Of course, in this case, we had corn on this field, so corn typically has a lot of residue with it. Also, I'm noticing, I'm gonna, let's get out here just a minute. Looks like this actually has, uh, yeah, so the coulters actually leave. I don't know if that, is that cultivated. I don't know if we can tell from the map or not here. Probably not going to be able to tell when there's too much going on here. Uh, it is, yeah, actually even cultivated. Okay, almost to the end here. Like I said, this is definitely going to take a hot minute to uh, plow this field with this plow, but oh well. We got the time. We'll get it done. Keep an eye on the rest of our hard workers here as well. Looks like he's still going. Excellent. Oh, it's interesting. I just happened to notice this one. Uh, we'll get back to that here in a minute. Let's uh, turn around here first before uh, we have any uh, problems. Happens to be uh, one uh, nice little uh, ditch right there. And you know, let's just go ahead and uh, rotate that uh, GPS line here. Make it easy on ourselves. And then we uh, whoop, one shift over a little bit. Alt uh, page up and page down, by the way shift the uh, GPS line over for those you're wondering. And uh, for those of you maybe wondering even further yet, what are those uh, funny little dots going across my screen there that in front of the tractor? That is the guidance steering mod. Uh, only available on the PC unfortunately that one. Uh, not available for uh, consoles. Uh, still uh, boggles my mind to some extent. I mean, that uh, Giants has not included like GPS in the game here at this point. I, I, like why? When I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, I'm sorry, console players. There's no GPS for you. Fortunately, at least on the PC side of things, we got the mod authors that uh, make up for uh, Giants' uh, efficiencies, shall we say? And uh, judging from the. Uh, Oh, hey, we just got an achievement. Highly cultivated. Highly cultivated achievement. I wonder what that achievement is for. I might have to look that one up. I'm kind of curious. Uh, anyway, what was I saying? I don't know. Whatever. I was oh, I, I know what I was saying. I, mean, uh, I was saying that given the uh, seemingly large number of small miscellaneous scripting mods here for the game, I mean, I, it seems like the Giants must have some uh, severe deficiencies here in this game or something. I don't know if anyone else has noticed that here, but if you go to the mod hub, there's just a lot of just little little mods, little scripting mods that tweak a whole lot of things here in this game, right? Oh, nice. We can just plow right at the end on this one here. I don't know, like I said, I mean, this might be my new uh, favorite... Uh, actual chisel plow here. Uh, technically, by the way, when the other plow we have is not actually really a chisel plow, per se. It's more... Uh, I don't know, is it a ripper, per se? It's more of a tool. I, as John Deere, I believe, describes it, a one-pass tool uh, designed to essentially plow, mulch, rip, and finish the ground all in one pass. And of course, what we mean by that, everyone, is you would never plant directly, it's not that I know of anyway, you would never plant directly into chisel plowed ground. I mean, chisel plowed ground is just too uneven, right? Uh, once you're done chisel plowing, everyone, uh, in this case, we're doing it in the fall, so you let it sit over winter and then come back next spring. And it depends on the farmer. I mean, sometimes they'll go back and chisel plow it again, or just it's already been chisel plowed, so then they'll just go run a field cultivator across it. And or 
if you're over in uh, the Millennial Farmers part of the country, I mean, apparently they call those diggers. So they'll run a digger across it. So a digger over there is the same as a field cultivator here. I don't know why. <laughs> different names in different parts of the country, but hey, I guess you shouldn't be surprised by that, right? Oh, and I just realized something. This part has not been mulched yet, has it? Whoops. Yep, mulcher isn't quite as wide as the plow, is it? Oh, well. I don't know if the hired worker will continue to, like, mulch across that or not. I'm not sure how that works. I guess we'll find out. Oh, and that's right, Evan. I was going to go back and look this out uh, here. Uh, yes, when it comes to planting the oilseed radish, I noticed a little something, Evan. Uh, with the oilseed radish, it is actually uh, planting in the, like, I think that's the last growth stage there. Uh, rather interesting. No, it looks like, uh, well, I don't know. Maybe he's uh, still going to mulch a little bit there yet. Let's see when he lowers it down. Oh, no, he just picks up where we plowed. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have a little small section here, but where, um, yeah, it's not going to get mulched. Oh, well, not the end of the world, I guess. Okay, let's rotate that GPS back around here. Another 90 degrees. That's Alt-N, by the way. Rehome it on the tractor. Close enough for government work. I am back to plowing long ways here. Probably should do a headland on the other end of the field here as well. But at least uh, do one anyway. Maybe we don't have to do two just because, again, I... Actually, you know what? Did I even mulch it all? I think I did run the mulch. Yes, I did run the mulch on this side. Okay. So, yep. We can make, at least make one headland pass on that side of the field here. At least if we get to the other end of the field here. <laughs> the end of this episode is up. Oh, my. Well, I have to say, when at least the uh, ground doesn't look as uh, flat as it necessarily used to back in previous versions of the game. I, you would think by now when uh, Giants can maybe improve their ground textures a little bit, but... Eh, yeah, I don't know. Like, you look across them and you can see they're still pretty much flat. I believe the uh, correct term for this is a tessellation. I think that's what they're doing here at this game at this point, but... Oh, and I got to say, too, now, since patch 1.5, and uh, maybe I shouldn't say this yet because I might end up jinxing myself here, everyone, but since patch 1.5, I have not had any more game crashes. Um, I don't know if patch 1.5 finally fixed something, uh, but I didn't have any game crashes last week, everyone, and I haven't had any game crashes this week yet either. So... Like I said, of course, I'm, now that I said this, I probably uh, jinx myself and the game will do nothing but crash here for the next uh, <laughs> couple of weeks. But uh, for those of you watching any of my videos here in Farming Simulator 22, like ever since Farming Simulator 22 has come out, everyone, uh, my game has done nothing but crash when it comes to loading the game. Uh, whether it's loading the game or loading the save game, either one of those two spots, everyone, uh, the game liked it to crash a lot. I mean, like, you go to load the game up, everyone, the game would crash. Go to load the game up again and load to the menu and crash. Go to load the game up again and go load your save game, it would crash. Go try to load your save game again. You'd get to the start button. You click the start button for your save game and it would crash. Finally, the fifth time around, I'm going to work, right? So eventually it would always work. I mean, you'd, just, you'd have to try it like two, three, four times sometimes before it finally would work. And it didn't do it every day, everyone. Um, sometimes it would. Sometimes it'd do it every single day of the week. Other times, everyone, I'd go a week without it doing it. It was a very, very weird issue, everyone. But uh, like I was saying, it seems like ever since patch 1.5, and I have not had one single game crash. So cross your fingers, maybe uh, Giants fix something. I know some of you other folks have mentioned uh, other issues as well that it seems like they've fixed. Uh, again, it seems like patch 1.5 was a little bit bigger than what Giants really said it was. <laughs> and it definitely seems like uh, Giants is doing more behind the scenes than what they necessarily put in their patch notes. 
<clears throat> wonder what they're trying to hide, right? So, yeah, if, if Giants actually did fix something here in the patch that uh, fixed uh, my game crash, which, hey, I'm not going to complain on that. It's definitely nice. That was definitely uh, definitely kind of annoying when, when the game crashed like that. I, again, I'm unfortunate the game never really crashed once I was actually, like, playing. So, like, once we're in the game like this, that one, game's been very, I would say, rock solid, right? Or, yeah, I guess that did lower crook enough. Okay. Oh, and maybe I should have done a... Uh, yeah, we'll come back later. Maybe do a headland. Won't worry about it for now. Back to the other end of the field. This is what farming's all about, everyone. One end of the field to the other. Slowly, in this case, I guess. You know, six mile an hour. I suppose we could use the mod maybe to speed it up to a, a little bit. Maybe like eight or something. Make it a little bit uh, more bearable. I don't know why, everyone, but, and, and maybe uh, some of the other folks out there that drive tracks can comment on this as well, but, like, you're doing six miles an hour on the field, I mean, that feels fairly quick, right? Like, that's not slow if you're doing six miles an hour. Why is it in the game when it feels so slow? I don't know. It, it, the game just feels so much slower than it does in real life. Anyone else, like, like I said, if you drive a tractor, anyone else notice that? Maybe it's just me, but seems that way. Um, is that hired worker there having issues? Kind of looks like he is. Now. I think we better go address this here in a minute. I think he's stuck on a tree. Yes, he is. I'm, I'm not sure why he's stuck on a tree. Because this is the pass he did last. He's doing something derpy, that's for sure. That is for sure. Okay, three higher them. Looks like we got plenty of seed left. Yep, like I figured that one, oil seed radish. Uh, I mean, it should be set to not buy the seed too, unless it changed that one. Should be what it's set to, if I remember correctly. I think that's the other one, right? Let's see, what's your refill seeds is off. Yep, so yeah, barely even used any seed. Back to plowing, which is, oh yeah, that's giving us plowing it, okay. I wonder how badly this is hurting us on our environmental score as far as tillage goes, everyone. We go check this field here. Mm, actually, everyone, it's actually like full at the moment, so it doesn't seem to be hurting us at all. Well, of course, we've just started too, so maybe by the time we're done, that'll go down a little bit. We're definitely going to end up having some uh, tillage on this field. Now, once we're done chisel plowing, we'll let it sit over winter here, everyone, and we'll come back next spring in game. And we'll, we'll probably run the high-speed disc across it or something. Or maybe we'll pick up a field cultivator. I guess we technically have one field cultivator, don't we? We got any, like, better cultivators? Got some big discs, that's for sure. Oh, uh, we got a big old tiger, mate. There we go. I mean, that's a big one. No hitch on the back. I don't think... Do we have, like, any sort of rolling baskets? I don't think I do that I know of. Yeah, not that I know. Wow, that's a nice big disc there. Interesting uh, color, too. Mainframe color, huh? Uh, this, uh... I have to fold it up. And that kind of looks like a John Deere 2623. Oh, in fact, it, it is. <laughs> the John Deere 2623 5 section. There, there we go. I mean, that, that answers uh, the question. They, they got it lizard branded, but it's technically a uh, John Deere 2623. I'm not sure... What? Uh, I don't know what the purpose of that would be. I mean, why would they not just make that a John Deere? I don't know. Definitely a lot of colors on it. Yep, there you go. I'm John Deere 26, 23. Missing the decals and stuff, but... You know, of course, back in the day of one, uh, before John Deere was in the game... Yeah, you'd have to make it Lizard, probably to get it on the console or something, but uh, that shouldn't be necessary anymore, so I don't know why they uh, why they did that as a Lizard brand. Maybe just for color selection, I don't know.
That is definitely a one thing that seems to be uh, dying off. Everyone is discs. You don't see discs uh, used as much anymore. Seems like uh, years ago when they used to be a lot more common, but uh, again, at least around where I live, everyone, it seems like there's two kind of primary uh, thoughts when it comes to tillage. Chisel plow and field cultivator, uh, typically with some sort of rolling basket, rolling harrow behind it. And then the vertical tillage, everyone. Uh, again, I would say probably the chisel plowing and field cultivators are probably still the more prevalent or more common. But there is definitely a vertical tillage. And sometimes, you know, the vertical tillage just fouls up behind the chisel plow. Or sometimes even goes before it. Yeah, we seem to be uh, racking up a few hours here on our quad track so far. Yes, I know, but it's a red tractor. We should probably do something about that. You know, maybe get a proper tractor one of these days. But for now, over the quad track seems to be working pretty good. Oh, and I'll have to say, well, the graphics have definitely come a long ways here since the uh, first uh, first quad track, basically, I guess, in the game has come out. I believe that was back in Farming Simulator 2013 with a Titanium DLC. Yep, comparing this tractor over to that tractor, a lot more detail. That is for sure, especially you can tell, like, on the mesh and stuff like that. It's actually, like, it's actual mesh now. Uh, you know, before I went, it was just, like, textured not entirely sure how to explain you really couldn't see through it whereas now you can actually like see through it and it's yeah it's cool are we there yet nope still not there yet well we get to the end of everyone that's probably about uh, time to wrap it up here for this episode you know what we haven't even got to any comments here let's uh Hold these up here real quick a minute. See if we get a couple comments here before we get to the end. Depends how long the app takes to load. As I said before, but my uh, iPad isn't the quickest anymore. I don't know how old it is, but it's, it's getting old. Let's see, Abandoned Brook was saying, great videos always. I'm having a few problems with every map I load. It loses the field numbers. Anyone else have this? Well, that's a weird problem. I have not heard of that one before. It loses the field numbers. Um, I guess I would suspect a mod problem there first. Um, you know, take out all your mods, see once if the problem persists. Uh, if it does, I don't know, like reinstall the game then or something. Or if you have the Steam version, you know, like do the, the, the check thing for it. Uh, Hetro saying, great video, cool looking silo. Don't we need the uh, global company mod to work the dryer? I have not heard anything about the global company mod yet. Uh, I have not heard it either. And uh, given the fact that we have... Can I get to the end here? Not. There we go. Just got it. I think. Yep. The chisel plow part is like the back portion of this one, so... Better get a headland along here. Um, anyway, like I was saying, when it comes to the global company, I don't think that's probably really needed here in Farming Simulator 22 anymore because we've got the whole uh, factory chains thing here built into the game, essentially. So sure, it really shouldn't be needed. So yeah, basically all Giants would have to do is set the dryer that we just bought on that part of that AGI bin set up. I mean, they'd have to set it up as a dryer and you know, corn in, propane in, dry corn out. Seems like it'd be reasonably feasible to do that, but... Anyway, like I said, it's time to wrap it up here for this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.